Hey YouTube, welcome back uh, to another Halloween edition review. This is Psychopathic One, and I'm about to review the scariest movie of all time. If you don't think it's scary, if you don't think it's scary or not the scariest, there's something's got to be wrong with you. And that movie happens to be The Exorcist. Now, I did not see this movie until I was about, oh, I'd say about 13, 14, maybe even 15. But I really think down in my heart, I think I was like 13. Anyways, for those who have not seen this film, the name says it all. It's about a priest. He's trying to exercise the devil himself. The devil himself uh, is in the girl named Reggie. I think that's her name. Anyways, this movie is kick ass. Uh, this is the extended version you've never seen. I never. I have this on an old video, uh, but it's. It's the same version, so I don't really know what the original version was like. But on the back, it says, Even scarier than in 1973, still a movie that can scare the hell out of us, which is damn true. Uh, it's directed by William Friedkin. Uh, he also directed another movie, The Guardian. I haven't seen that yet. I heard good reviews over it, but sadly, I tried running it from Netflix, but they don't have it. Uh, they have it, but for some reason, they never got it back. Um, it's about, it's also about a mother, uh, her and her daughter, uh, her daughter asked, uh, what's an Ouija board do? And what happened, they decided to play around with it, so, next thing you know, uh, they call forth all, a whole bunch of crazy shit on them, threw that Ouija board, and Reggie, sadly, she gets taken over by the devil, and what happens, they call, f her mom calls forth, uh, the help of an exorcist and uh, the help of his assistant priest. Most of this film takes place in Reggie's room. And here's the reason why this is not for kids. This is definitely not for kids. Uh, no younger. Uh, this is only for uh, like kids aged 13 through adult. This is not for the little kids 12 and under. Uh, because Reggie says a lot of really, really adult rated stuff. And also, she talks like the demon that's uh, controlling her, or the devil that's controlling her, is making her say this off the wall stuff about God, uh, really evil stuff about herself. There's even one, uh, scene where she defiles the cross. I won't talk to it on here because I don't really think I can. But let's just say she defiles the cross in a really evil way. I like the cover as well. Uh, anyways, if, if you don't think this is scary, creepy. There's got to be something wrong with you. And if you haven't seen it and you're an adult, see it. It, it will still scare the hell out of you. Um, it's based... It's based off of a book by uh, William Peter Bradley, Blatty. Um, and anyways... The moments in this film, um, it's a long-ass film, 132 minutes, so 
I don't really watch the whole thing, but let's just say, if you are to watch the whole movie, it does make a lot of sense. I actually, I actually did watch the whole movie at one point. This was given to, to me from my uncle. He got it on Blu-ray, so I bet the Blu-ray version of this is kick-ass. And this is also loaded to the bone with some special features. It comes with a remastered soundtrack and Dolby Digital 5.1 surround EX. And if you don't really like it really loud, uh, they got it in the Dolby Surround Mono Compatible. Feature length commentary by director William Friedkin. Interactive menus, of course. Two theatrical trailers, four TV spots, two radio spots. Scene access and the subtitles come in English, French, Spanish, and Portuguese. Pick this up. Definitely for the Halloween season as well. If you want to be scared, see this bad boy right here. I definitely give it. Yeah, definitely worth the 10 out of 10 hatchets. On the scary meter, definitely, definitely, definitely a 10 out of 10. Uh, it all, I think this is actually Linda Blair's first real movie. Now, don't get me wrong, it's probably not her first movie. But, anyways, this is the film she's best known for. She also plays in another really kick-ass movie, too. Uh, she's probably played in more kick-ass movies, but another film uh, she's she's not really known for, but the title is really well-known, Hella Night. That's a really cool movie. Uh, but anyways, we're talking about the classic here. The Exorcist will just blow you away from beginning to end. Um, I remember, if I remember correctly, uh, these people are trying to to just do their job at digging, ar architects and all that, uh, and they stumble across like this weird, I'm just call it, gonna call it a statue, but I don't really remember the beginning all that much because like I said I have only watched the full movie like twice and I don't remember it all that well but anyways if you want a scary as hell movie to pick up during the Halloween season pick up The Exorcist you won't be sorry and like I said people do not show this to little kids it will scar them for life so literally keep this away from kids and there is a, I am going to say this part straight up, there is a scary as fuck scene, that, that's the best way I can describe it, she twists her head all around, and then, she spits, she spits some green slime, uh, or some shit, right at the, at one of the priest's eyes, and I, I thought that was just like gross. But anyways, that's my review over the classic The Exorcist. Hopefully you enjoyed this movie as much as I did, and if you didn't, you you probably don't like horror movies, period, or uh, were you really offended uh, by this movie. This was controversial, and it's still pretty controversial to this day, but it was definitely really controversial when it came out in 1973. People weren't ready for this at this time. I don't think even people are ready for it now. Uh, this film, uh, you'll see why when you watch this film, why it's so controversial. And, uh, I call her Reggie, but her uh, name is Regan, uh, and not a whole lot of people really know this, but this is actually uh,
based on true events. It actually happened to a boy, but for some reason, uh, William Peter Bradley used it as a girl. I never really read the book, so uh, at some point I will read the book, just not now, just not tomorrow. It, it might be next month, next year maybe, even next week. If I ever get a hold of it, I'll possibly read it. Uh, I bet it's even, I bet it's just as scary as the movie, because William Peter Bradley is the screenwriter and producer of this movie. So, brace yourself for one scary-ass movie when you see this. Again, scary as all hell. That is my review over the top-notch frightening, foreboding, evil, those are all the ways to describe this amazingly accurate film of the devil. Anyways, peace out, uh, I am the psychopathic one saying, have a happy, scary, deranged Halloween. Be back with another review tomorrow.